Good afternoon and uh, welcome to an improvised uh, lecture on uh, ancient uh, Roman denarios of the time of the Republic. One of the fascinating uh, series that uh, I happen to collect is the series of the Muses, you know, the nine uh, goddess that um, were part of the Greek and uh, Roman mythology. At the time of the Republic, we're talking about uh, now over 2,000 years ago, the magistrate was uh, given the uh, ability to struck coin, you know, like, I mean, and usually, you know, like there would be an element of propaganda and also, you know, like uh, um, talking about, you know, like, I mean, the family deeds and so on. But this particular individual, his name is Quintus Pomponius Musa, uh, decided to go a totally different route and he struck 10 silver coins and I'll show you which one they are and uh, instead of uh, um, talking about his family and uh, and the various deed that they might have done like uh, he decided to strike coins about the nine muses and Hercules Musarium which means Hercules of uh, the muses now, the interesting story about this is that, uh, you know, at the time, 100 years earlier, in 146 BC, like uh, uh, the Romans uh, conquered uh, Greece and brought back uh, to Rome through their victorious general, the statue of the nine muses and of Hercules of the muses. And, and that's the key element that uh, Quinto Pomponius Musa used in his... Uh, uh, a series uh, of, 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 of denarii. So basically, he struck, you know, like, I mean, uh, the coins, and you can see them here. I have uh, several of them. So this is the obverse. It will be reversed on, your, on, on, on the video, unfortunately. But it's the image of uh, Apollo, the protector of the muses. And on, on, on the left of his uh, neck, there is a symbol that uh, actually connects it with the, the, the various muses. For instance, I'll show you this one, the reverse. Oops. And this was the muse of, uh, of uh, lyric poetry, and their name was Euterpe. And uh, you can see that, you know, like uh, uh, Apollo on the obverse has the, uh, the cross flute in his, uh, near his neck. And another one, there is, uh, as I said, 10 of them. Another one is uh, Polymnia, who is the, uh, the muse of rhetoric. And in her case, again, Apollo always shows up on, uh, on, uh, on the obverse. Let's see if it's better this way. And uh, like the item that uh, symbolizes his muse is... Uh, the red and polymnia, as I said, was you know like I mean the muse of uh, rhetoric. And then there is you know like I mean beside the nine of them, there is also you know like uh, the muse, uh, the the coin of uh, uh, Apollo again, and uh, and then the reverse of this one is uh, Hercules of the Muses. You can see Hercules wearing his lion skin is one of the labor of Hercules, and along, you know, like the, um, the, 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 the side of the reverse, there is information about the fact that this is representing Hercules Musarium or Hercules of the Muses. And on the obverse, like along, you know, like, I mean, uh, Apollo's, uh, uh, you know, like uh, head, and, and on the right as well, there is the name Q Pomponius Musa, which represents, you know, like, I mean, the magistrate that actually struck the coin. And also it was a pun on his name, like, because his name was Musa. Like, uh, the, this series is actually known as uh, Musa's Muses. So je this is enough for today. We will continue with another uh, video later on. But in the meantime, you know, just uh, think about that this particular series was actually struck in 66 BC, at the time of the Roman Republic, which, you know, like it's over 2000 years ago.
Thank you very much for listening, and uh, till next time, goodbye.